Today's video is sponsored by SafetyWing Nomad Insurance. Meanwhile, Mandy was back in Canada and I was in America and we didn't have any phone service, so we're in different <laughs> countries. Okay, so I guess this is going to be our first stealth Walmart camping. Okay, we're not really sure why, but a cop has just pulled up pretty much right next to us. Oh, there was a mudslide here. That's what it is. Wow. Look at this is crazy. I honestly, I had no idea that that was illegal in the US. We're Lloyd and Mandy, a Canadian Aussie couple that spent the last 18 months traveling as digital nomads through Southeast Asia and Mexico. Now we're in North America having a crack at full-time RV life. Today we are crossing the Canada-USA border for the first time in our RV. We will be making the four and a half hour drive to Kalispell, Montana from Nelson, BC, Canada to hopefully escape the rain. So that little stream there, when we got here a week ago, was barely half as full as it is now. And I could be wrong, but it looks like, because we've had really hot, sunny weather here, right behind me there, you can't see it through the trees, but it's Whitewater Ski Resort, and I'm assuming because it's been hot, the sun's been beating down and melting all the ice there, and it's all just coming down this stream. The last two days it's gotten really high and really loud and powerful. And if you can see, it looks like we're gonna get rain for about three days. So uh, we're gonna head south, we're gonna take off. We've been here a week, we've really liked it in Nelson, but uh, I think it's time for us to go. We're gonna keep chasing the warm weather. So today we're driving south down into Montana and our first stop is going to be, I think, Kalispell and Whitefish. Uh, and then we'll just see what happens really. Let the road take us wherever it takes us. But before we go, we're going to have to fill up with gas and propane because we're a little low. And I'm going to check my tires and just like the oil and stuff like that. We've got about a four and a half hour drive ahead of us, probably five hours. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Let's well, just quickly run into Walmart to grab some things and I just saw the train that we tried getting on <laughs> in our last video just go past. So it's like this phantom thing that we haven't been able to get on, but I don't understand what the schedule is because it wasn't even close to what we had read on their website. So never got to ride it. I'm a bit disappointed because it's so beautiful and cute, but maybe next time. I definitely have to come back to Nelson. I've loved it here so much, but I am excited that we can get away from the rain and come back here maybe in summer or something. I just really love this area. I am so excited to head down to Montana today. Lloyd's been wanting to go down there pretty much forever, so he's very, very excited. <laughs> oh, you got crispers? Stop it. I forgot, I forgot about them and then I just thought about them the other day. These are so good, the all dressed ones are the best. <laughs> Bear move with <laughs> let the load in. Rain. <laughs> Our Canadian e-sims just ran out. Literally today. Of course I hear that. Yeah. Um, but we have American e-sims that we'll be able to use once we cross the border. But I just had to run into Walmart to get Wi-Fi so we could put Whitefish Montana on the map. And hopefully we don't take any wrong turns because then it won't. Recorrect what? itself, yeah. yeah. Guess what I saw while you were in the shops? A duck. No. <laughs> the train. Oh, did you? That's, That's not even remotely close to what the website said. No. So, I just saw it and it was really beautiful and it did like a little ding ding. Yeah, yeah it was really nice. <laughs> Driving for what 
five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Then we're going the wrong way. <laughs> For some reason, my maps just said six and a half hours to get to Whitefish when it's only four hours because it's taking us the wrong way. So now we've got to drive back to the campsite <laughs> that we just passed, which we probably shouldn't have passed. No. <laughs> Uh, to get Wi-Fi to put the other route in because this route's way longer. I don't know why anyone would go this way. That's better. <laughs> yeah, but we need to keep an eye on it or something. Yeah. It just switches. You might have just taken a wrong turn. So let's just getting propane at the moment. We're actually keeping track of everything that we're spending on the road in regards to like living in the RV and we'll be putting together a cost of living video for you guys. We'll do one month of expenses, then we'll do six months and a year, I think, if we end up surviving that long. It's been a lot more affordable than we anticipated so far, so fingers crossed it stays that way. If you're interested in that, subscribe to our channel because that'll be coming out in a couple weeks as well. <laughs> drove through Kootenay Pass which is a big mountain range and I had no idea we were driving through that today. We've had yesterday we were sitting in shorts and t-shirt having a beer on a patio and we just drove through the mountains and it's like raining almost snowing back to winter. We've been sitting here at this roadworks for about 10 minutes now. I don't know how long it's gonna take but I have to go to the toilet. Can I go? Yeah good thing we have one. Yeah. What if go. we start going? I'll drive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll be quick. Okay. Do you think he'll make it? Oh, sweetheart. Watch out. You did it. Did it. <laughs> so good on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long we'll be stuck here for, though. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Yay. It's like 20 minutes. Yeah. Hopefully, that's it. Fingers crossed. Oh, there was a mudslide here. That's what it is. Wow. Look at Look this that. is crazy. So is this um, just what happens when all the snow melts and stuff, or like it yeah. comes to rain up here? I think because. It was so cold and then all of a sudden so hot that all the snow is melting at the same time. So everything's coming off the mountains at the moment. Yep. And the rivers are just overflowing and <laughs> I think we're leaving this area at the right time. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> well we heard on the radio in Nelson they were talking about all these places, roads that were flooded and mudslides and stuff. And, but it was sunny every day. I was like, how's that possible? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is pretty common in spring, especially in the mountains, but... That was a bad one. It wouldn't want yeah, to be caught in between that. Yeah. Oh, that would be so scary. All right, guys, we just have to take a quick second to shout out Safety Link for making all of this possible. The reason we feel so comfortable traveling on the road is because we use Safety Wing Nomad Insurance. They cover us for everything from health, loss of luggage, airline delays, and even COVID-19. In fact, we've used Safety Wing since the day we left Australia, all the way back in 2021. I probably don't need to tell you this, but if you're traveling overseas, you have to have a reliable travel insurance because you never know what could go wrong. Nomad Insurance is a global travel medical insurance that covers people from all over the world while outside of their home country. In fact, you don't have to be in your home country to purchase Nomad Insurance. You can buy it once you're already abroad. 
This is super important because if you get sick while you're overseas, you have no idea how high the hospital bills can really get. When we were in Mexico, we heard some horror stories of people going to hospital and as soon as they walked in the door, they were charged thousands of dollars in medical bills without even knowing it. With SafetyWing, all you need to do is upload your expenses and they will give you a full refund without any questions asked. So whether you're like us and you're traveling overseas for an extended period of time, or you're just going on a quick trip, have a look at Nomad Insurance. We'll leave the link down below. They have monthly plans starting from just $45 a month and you can cancel at any time. All right, let's get back to the video. the border and um, we had looked it up before we were going across uh, what if you were allowed to have food or not but there's a couple things they were weird about so they weren't happy with like us having eggs in here or tomatoes um, even though we didn't have tomatoes and Lloyd said that we did. <laughs> we did. did you throw them out this morning? No we used them all. <laughs> oh, we used them this morning. Yeah yeah but and I looked it up I thought it was only from certain like countries you couldn't have certain vegetables like it's from Canada it's fine that's what I thought oh so yeah he made me Lloyd had to go inside to customs and uh, do his paperwork because he's Australian and Canadians don't need a visa to come into America we automatically just get six months and he so he made me drive the RV back to the Canada border and take back the eggs and the tomatoes because they didn't want them on US soil <laughs> And so I go back to the Canadian customs and I tell him that I have to bring back the eggs. That's why I just got denied and then I need to go back. And he was really lovely. There's a freezer there for you to put food in and you just get out and you can put all your food in and then I think they donate the food, which is actually not that bad. Um, but the Canadian side was really lovely and usually I feel like intimidated by the Canadian side, but the American side was very grumpy today. <laughs> yeah, he told us to into the middle lane and I thought we were going into the uh, secondary search section because we had there and I had to get out and everything so I went to pull into the middle lane of that and he got out of his little booth and yelled at us to go into the middle lane on the right just to pull over so Mandy could drive and go back and then I went in and they didn't even say one word to me I just did my fingerprints paid six dollars they didn't want any paperwork for bear didn't ask us anything yeah and meanwhile, Mandy was back in Canada and I was in America and we didn't have any phone service. So we were in different <laughs> countries for like 20 minutes without any way of contacting each other. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. That was, I feel like they purposely try to fluster you. Like, I, do you feel that way? Yeah. Like the way that they explain for you to do things always is always like, wait, what? Like you're trying to figure it out and there's always too much information at once. Well, he goes, um, <clears throat> so what do you want to do with the eggs? And I'm like, what are our options? And he goes, do you want to take him back to Canada? I was like, not really. Like, no, you can have, like, we'll chuck him out. And he's like, well, you can't bring him in here. Like, okay, well, just tell us to take him back. Yeah. Don't make us play this guessing I know, game. like, and, or that we know. Like, yeah. we've never, we haven't driven across this border in how many years? And never with uh, an RV. And we've looked it up as well. Like, the information's not up to date anywhere. Anyway, we and made it. We we're made here. It. And we're in Idaho. I thought we were in Montana. We're in Idaho. So cool. All right. So we've been driving in the US for about an hour and uh, because we threw most of our food out, we had to find somewhere to eat, but we just pulled over at the Montana state line and there was a cool looking casino and bar here but it looks like it's shut which would have been cool to go in anyway Mandy's uh, making us some chili we have some canned chili left luckily and I'm just taking Bear for a walk because uh, he needs a break from sitting in that RV he doesn't love it too much when it's moving he still doesn't really know why the house is moving 
but he's getting a bit better. Hey! How you going? Dude, got chili on. We didn't realize, but we parked literally right on the state border, which is there. That sign is Montana. The other side is Idaho. So if I go to the toilet, I'm in Idaho. <laughs> but if we drive, I'm in Montana. <laughs> so many weird border things today. <laughs> Foxy's bar, it looks so awesome. This is why I love America. There's a bar at the park RV park. Alright. I'm gonna go check it out because this looks like a cool place to hang out tonight. Yeah. I'm sure Bear would be allowed out here. Yeah. Well, we'll see how much it is because it's an RV park with full hookups. We don't really need that. Welcome to the shit show. Alright, so this place is $65 for just one night for full powered site and for no hookups or anything was half price from that. But it's also $650 a month, which is a pretty good deal because they've got Wi-Fi, a bar, um, full hookups, everything. It's pretty good, but a bit expensive for one night. 35 isn't too bad, but we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we don't really need anything. Uh, the bar would have been cool to go to, but I think we're gonna just try and do Walmart parking tonight. Yeah. We've been paying for a campsite for the last week. Mm. So it'd be nice to have a free night. Yeah. Alright, we made it to Kalispell, Montana. <laughs> We got flipped off as soon as we got here. <laughs> we were just at Walmart and this will probably be... Is this our first time staying in a Walmart? Yeah. First time staying at a Walmart? Um, uh, not say no overnight parking. So yeah. There's two other RVs here and a camp, a uh, truck camper. Depends if they actually stay though. I think we'll just chill out and have something to eat and see what happens maybe. Okay, so I guess this is going to be our first stealth Walmart camping. <laughs> there's signs everywhere saying no overnight parking. We kind of banked on staying here and there's a bunch of other stealth campers. There's also other RVs that are much like ours here. So we'll just um, see what happens. We hopefully won't get a knock at 2 a.m. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. If we do, we can just drive somewhere else. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, but I'm at least... for some reason I feel like scared. <laughs> I at least want to just stay here for a while and see what happens. If, like usually I think more campers show up later and then they leave early in the morning and when there's a bunch of other camper vans you don't feel, you probably won't feel as like obvious yeah. or worried. Yeah, definitely. But I just need to relax. That ended up taking us nine hours pretty much because like, we stopped a few times and you had to go back to Canada to drop the eggs off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm really tired. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and then I think we're gonna have to go find something to eat in Walmart. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say this parking lot's pretty quiet, except it seems to be like drag racing going on. <laughs> Apart except from for that, the drag racing. 
There's just one RV next to us with one woman in it and uh, she looks like she's been there a while. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we got to drive somewhere else tonight. This is seriously the most intense, big Walmart I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> it's out of control. It's so big. I reckon it does everything way bigger than Canada. <laughs> So we accidentally grabbed the taco kit that has no seasoning in it. <laughs> Did you see that this has no seasoning in it? Really? And it's just taco shells? What? <laughs> Could it just pour bloody... Tortillas? We're doing without it, I'm not going back in there. <laughs> we got hot sauce. Yeah, I know. This is what I just realised. What? We're an hour ahead here, it's not 9 o'clock. Oh. It's 8 o'clock. Okay. Montana's good. We don't, we're not doing so hot here. <laughs> Really sure why but a cop has just pulled up pretty much right next to us. Hopefully he doesn't tell us to leave now. What do you think he's doing here? Just taking a break. Okay. I think the worst thing is that the cops are facing us. But I think he might just be on his smoker break. Everyone gone? Everyone's gone. <laughs> just sleep alright? Did you sleep okay? No, I have a hard time like not thinking about the fact that I'm in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because once you close the windows and the doors, it kind of just feels like we're in our camper van. But you still have that feeling of being in a parking lot. It actually got really quiet here last night. Probably around midnight, all the cars stopped coming past and it was like silent. The police officer that was here left as well pretty soon after we went to bed and no one knocked on our door. So it was alright I guess. <laughs> 